Good morning, friends, and happy Thursday. It is about 7.45 in the morning, and I am headed to my mother's house for the day. Um, I am headed there because, um, one, I went to go visit with my mom, and two, um, Courtney is coming into town to get her hair done. Um, she gets her hair done, I believe, by a cousin. And um, so she's coming into Tennessee to get her hair done, and um, she's dropping Parker off at my mom's house. And obviously, my mom can't watch Parker by herself, so Courtney wanted to know if I um, would come in and watch Parker. And I said, absolutely. So I am headed to, um, to Tennessee to visit with my mom and to watch Parker and play with her, which is always a fun thing to do. So I get like a double, a double bonus, Parker and my mom. Of course I get to see Courtney too. And that's always a, that's always a plus. Um, and then Sunday we're all going to be together again for Easter, which is going to be very, very nice. Um, so I'm very excited about that and celebrating Easter with my family here in Tennessee. We're going to be at my aunt's house this year. Last year I hosted it. Um, and that's when my son was in town. So um, that was that was a really nice like Easter and a surprise too for my family because my mom uh, was able to spend time with her her oldest grandson and my mom's youngest grandson was there. So Lucas, because Lucas is my mom's youngest grandson. Um, so yeah, so I'm excited about going out to my, my mom's house today for a little bit. I will share with you guys what I can. I'm actually gonna stop off at Walmart first before I head into her house um, I want to pick up some lemons for my water because um, I, I always drink a ton of water and so I always like to have lemons with my water and um, I was gonna pick up some water while I was there as well some bottled water because um, my parents don't have um, like that bottled water that I drink from the house so um, I'm gonna pick up some waters and some lemons and uh, yeah we're just gonna have a good old day I have some stuff here for Parker I have um, a gift something that I bought for her when we were at the Crayola experience back in um, January when we were in Orlando and um, I had bought it along with some stuff for Lucas and I already gave Lucas his stuff and um, I keep forgetting to give this stuff to Parker it's just a um, coloring book a, a frozen coloring book and then those little little animals that you can color and then rinse off they're super super cute but um, yeah first things first though I am gonna head to Starbucks I don't know I didn't even tell you guys yesterday so I was unable to go to my normal Starbucks because the line was so long it was like out in the street so I ended up skipping it and um, so today I'm gonna go and get one hopefully this line is not long this line over here in the side of town is never long so I'm always pretty lucky when it comes to this Starbucks so I'm I'm okay with that it's so funny I'm you're ready to go down a road that's called Doug Hill Road and um, this road is just so it's so pretty um, it's just curvy and windy and it's got just a bunch of um, trees it's just a pretty pretty ride um, but this is the road that I used to take to work every single day when I lived here before um, and I worked at the doctor's office yeah this is the road that I would always take and then I had um, Oh, they put a bunch of rock right there too because it washes out but look at how like pretty this road is it's just a pretty like country road lots of trees lots of curves it's just a really fun road to go down um obviously you can't go really really fast because of the simple fact that it's very curvy very hilly you can't see anybody coming towards you so um, it's obviously a kind of a dangerous road but again just a, a very fun road to go down the houses out here are amazing some of them are just absolutely ginormous we're getting ready to pass by a house that brian and i absolutely loved um, when we were here, I mean, it's still a very, very pretty house, but we're always like, oh my gosh, that's like our dream house. It was just always such a, a pretty house. I'm going to show you guys in just a quick second. I mean, look at that one way up there at the hill. So pretty. But this one right here, I mean, we always loved this one right over there. Oh, it had like the garage you could just drive through. It's so pretty, but 
Anyway, ooh, this one's for sale. I don't know if it's property or, yeah, I think it's just property for sale. Ooh, nice. But look at how big that one is. Just like gorgeous mansions. They're just building this one right there. So pretty. It's like so nice. But anyway, all right, so I gotta drive and pay attention to this road because like I said, it gets really, really treacherous. Um, There's another house down here that used to have little potbelly pigs. Um, they don't have them anymore, but we just loved seeing the little potbelly pigs outside. But they don't have them anymore. No more potbelly pigs. That was just something that we loved seeing every time we drove through here. Um, this is another, this is the way we used to take to uh, Hampton Cove also when we were, um, go up to Walmart and Lowe's and stuff. But right here in this little, where this house is at, this little field right here always had a bunch of pot belly pigs. And Brian and I, he would always used to stand over here in the corner of the little black one. He was always over here. It was just super cute. We absolutely loved watching them or seeing them every time. Alrighty, so I'm gonna stop chatting. You guys have seen enough of this dangerous road and I need to like concentrate on this road or I will be off of it quickly. So I will see you guys in a little bit once I get uh, to Starbucks. Alrighty, so I am in line now at Starbucks. I want to show you the little book. This is like a little frozen coloring book that I got for her. And then this little animal, let me order. I get to, I get to order now. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. This is Mackenzie. Can I get you started with any food this morning? Uh, no, thank you, Mackenzie. I'll just have a venti white mocha with uh, caramel drizzle, caramel syrup, hot. Okay, anything else for you? Nope, that's it. It's gonna be 801 and we will see you at the window. Thanks. And then these are the little things that I got for her at the Crayola place. You can color the little animals and then you can wash them off. Like you could, when we were there, you could give them like a little bath. It was super, super cute. Um, I will actually put a link to that video in the description box below if you guys missed it because it's absolutely a cute little place to go. The Crayola experience, especially if it's like a rainy day at Disney and you just don't want to be out in the rain, kind of like what we didn't want to do. And it was so cold, we didn't want to be out there in the cold, but. We like so regret not going to toy to um, Hollywood Studios to take her to Toy Story Land. We we totally regret that. But it was like it was so cold outside and raining, and uh, Parker was just not having any of that. So I just felt bad. We feel bad, but anyway. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Pretty good. Are those lights in your car? Oh uh, yeah, they're lights. That is so cute. Yeah, they light up all around and on the floor and, and everything. And they change colors, oh yeah. My God. <laughs> You're like living dream. Oh yeah, yeah. This is this is definitely the dream car. Yeah. <laughs> that is so cute. I love it. Thank you. Great, fantastic. Thank you so much, and have a great day. It's so funny, the last time I was here, um, the guy that waited on me through the window also made a comment about my car and the lights in my car. Y'all, the lights in my car are fantastic. They're like so pretty. <laughs> they just light up all over. And it's very hard to see them when it's light outside because they're they just they're hard to see. But right now it's kind of dark and overcast and gloomy outside and she was able to see them and when I pulled up they were like blue and now they're like a hot pink color and then they changed to red and then like it's really green pretty green it's really really pretty like right now they're like a blue <laughs> oh my gosh but anyway whoo let me see if I can get this stabilized because I really wanted to like talk to you guys about this show that I've been watching on Hulu and it is, oh man, hang on a second. I want to try to get this light. It is about that girl. What's it called? The girl from Plainville. And it's about the girl who encouraged her boyfriend to commit suicide. And um, like what a horrible, horrible, horrible story. And tragedy, obviously. Total tragedy. Um, but yeah. She like convinced him to commit suicide and I think she kind of like had some like mental issues herself. Obviously I think they say that she did. Um, but I, my thing is like, you don't 
like encourage someone to commit suicide like if you know someone's gonna do that you basically try to try to talk them out of it or try to get them help so they don't do it and like she didn't do all that stuff like she was just like no do it and then when he got out of his vehicle because he wasn't sure he wanted to go through with it she's like no get back in your car get back in your car and then no sooner he got back in his car I mean like within a few minutes he was like dead it's like horrible yeah I'm gonna get over in just a second but I don't think I'm gonna because it's gonna go to one lane anyway so we'll just have to wait anyway so whoo yeah what a sad sad story though so I've been watching that one and I think there's like a new episode every Tuesday on that one and then I've also been watching um the story of the lady who started that um, company, uh, Theranos, where you like just have to prick your finger with blood. I mean, anybody who is in their right mind, anybody who's smart enough to understand that, I mean, when I was a phlebotomist, you had to have like sometimes four or five tubes of blood for certain, for tests. And some tests you had to have like, they like a lots of blood just to do a test so I don't know where they were thinking that they could get away with just a, a finger prick and then be able to test blood that way I don't know I just thought that was kind of weird too but she's quite the weirdo as well quite the psycho um, we also watched power of the dog dumb movie with Benedict Cumberbatch horrible movie very very bad boring it had like zero point to it um, and then what else did we watch that was super, super good? Oh, we didn't, we watched, um, uh, 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 oh, Murder on the Nile, bad, horrible movie. Don't watch that. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what else we watched so I can share that with you guys. But anyway, nonetheless, cheers to you. Good morning, friends. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That is, when you haven't had one of those in so long and this the first sip of it like just tastes like heaven. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You drop the bomb on me. Are we gonna hide Easter eggs? Yeah, let's go hide Easter eggs. Let's go hide these. Yeah, okay, go in there. We'll hide them in there and then we'll go try to find them. Yes. And I have another bubble thing in there. Help, Parker, help! Lucas, <laughs> Lucas, push the button. Push the button. Push the button. Go. No, it's not. He wanted help. Oh, boy, lots of bubbles. <laughs> Lucas is getting the bubbles. Woo! Over here, Lucas. Lucas, now. Okay, kick. Put it down. We'll kick. 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 Yeah. Throw it down. Okay, throw it to Auntie Lana. I'll kick it to you. Throw it. Throw it. Oh. Lucas, you want to play kickball? Okay, let's get it. Let's get it, Parker. Kick, kick, kick. Good job. Good job. Kick. Good job. Oh, no. Lucas is down. Lucas is down. You want to help him? Let's go help him. Good job, Parker. Good job, Parker. No, I did it. Okay. So, oh, my goodness. He falls down. No, it's my bubble. It's my bubble. No, you're sharing. Remember, we're going to share, okay? So you I kick it to Parker. I need to think well, go get it. It's over there. Go get it. <gasps> He's going to go get the pink one. <gasps> for me? Yeah, for you. Good job, Lucas. Thank you. Woo, I say thank you, Lucas. <sighs> thank you, Lucas. Okay, now we can play. You play with yours. 
and stay away from the doggy. Uh oh. Uh oh. He fell down again. You're so silly, Lucas. Oh, she's going to come help you. <laughs> Oh, she's helping. Thank you, Lucas. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> He's so silly. He just keeps falling. Okay, kick it. <gasps> Boo. Get it. <gasps> kick the ball. Oh, good job. Good job. Kick it back this way. Kick it back this way. Here, Auntie Lyle will kick it for you. No, okay. Kick it this way. No, kick it this way. Huh? Woo! Good job. Whoa. Oh. Auntie Lyle kicked it. <laughs> get it, Lucas. Get it. Woo! Woo! Good job, Lucas. Get it! It's not stuck. It's stuck. Here. Oh, Parker! Oh, he wants Parker to kick it. Whoa! Do you want to take your helmet off? Lucas, you want to take your helmet off? He does, She doesn't want to drive, but you want me to take this off for you? Yeah. So you can just play with the ball? Yeah. Ugh, there we go. Okay, now you can play with the ball. There's a pink ball and a blue ball. Oh, he's going to get you the pink one. Kick it to her. Kick it. Well, she can't kick it when you're there, honey. You gotta move out of her way, cause then she'll kick you. There we go, kick it, Parker, kick it. Good job. Okay, kick that one. Good job. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, you rolled him over. Antilas. All right, let's go hide the Easter eggs. Let's go hide them. Okay. Okay. Antilas is gonna hide one here. Oh. Auntie, let's go hide some. I can get one right, right. Yep. Hide it right there. Good job, Lucas. Where are you gonna hide yours, Parker? Okay. You hide yours right there. Oh, you need more? Okay, grab some more. Okay, good job, Parker. Ooh, yeah, look at that, how pretty that one is. Here's some more. Here's more. Yep, you got an orange one. Okay, let's hide them over here. Let's go over here and hide them. Oh. Okay. Yep, put it right there. Don't hit your head. Watch your head. Woo. Okay. Okay, here's yours. Watch your head, Lucas, when you pick that when you get up. Okay, here. Here's two more. Okay, let's go put them over here by the tree. Here, Lucas. Put one over here by the tree. Whoa. He wants to go everywhere fast. Here, let's put one right here. Okay, here's some more. Here's another one, Lucas. Yep. Okay, let's go over here. Let's hide some over here. We only have a few more to hide. Okay, let's go hide some more. Let's go. Over here, Lucas. Oh, you're hiding some over there? Okay, here's some more. Here's some more to hide. Okay, got them? Okay, here's one more. All right, go hide those, Parker. Good job, okay, go hide them.
Okay, put, okay, hide him. Good job. Okay, now let's come get your bag. Come get the bag so we can go share. Okay, we'll share the bag. Okay, share the bag. Share the bag. Hold hands. We're just like this. One side is for you, one side for Lucas. Okay, there we go. Now you guys go find the eggs. Go find them. <laughs> go find the eggs. Remember where we hid them. <sighs> oh yeah, I see him way over there. <laughs> Put him in there. Oh my goodness, we found a whole bunch of eggs. Put him in the bag. Let Parker get one. Oh, you come get these. Oh, there we go. That's nice. Thank you, Lucas. Okay, let's go find more. Look over here. Look. Look right there. Keep watch your head though. Watch your head, little boy. You want to get Parker? Let Parker find him. <laughs> okay, put him in the bag. Oop, there we go. Okay. All right. Oh, there's some right there. Let Parker find him. Oh, here, big come up, Parker. Go over there and go grab those ones. Go get those ones over there, Parker. Right here. Right here, Parker. Here, Parker. Let Parker find them. Here, Parker, over here. <laughs> okay, let Parker get those ones. Okay, you put them in the bag. Good job. Oh, there's two more. All right, do we have more over here? Yeah. Okay, let's get more. Woo! Was there one over here? Oh, I see one. I see one over here. Oh my goodness. Come here, Parker. I see some more over here. Look, Parker. Yeah, let, let Parker get one. Can Parker find one? Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Good job, Parker. Put it in there. Okay, remember, we have some over there. Way over here, remember? Way over here, Parker. Way over here. Remember, you put some over there? Yes. Go get them. I get them. Get him, Parker, get him. Good job. <laughs> Good job, Matt, we found all the eggs. Okay, you wanna do it again? Okay, let's go hide the eggs again. Yay, yay. Whoo, my goodness. <laughs> Chasing two toddlers around at the age of 49 is not fun to do, let me just say. Um, let's see, when I had my twins, I was 24, I think, 25. And um, yeah, I was chasing twins around at the age of 25. Big difference big difference um, yeah being 49 and chasing two little toddlers around is a lot of work but um but fun obviously I love being with my little babies they're just so darn cute um, and they're just getting so big and Liliana is just so cute but anyway um, I'm on my way home now and um, I just left my mom's house and uh, I'm gonna be heading home. Ouch, I won't get home till probably about 3.30. It's 12.15 right now. Um, and then that lady, I gotta move all that stuff out of the way because that lady's coming to deliver my little cabinet thing tonight. I'm very, very excited about that. Um, so yeah, so I had to get home and move all the stuff out of the way. So that's what I'm gonna be doing um, here shortly. But uh, yeah, heading home now. I'm hot and I'm exhausted and my arms hurt, <laughs> but uh, it's definitely it's definitely worth it. Um, I got to spend some time with my mom too, um, which is nice. And we had lunch. 
was nice. And then um, I'll see everybody again on Sunday. So that's kind of a, a nice little bonus. Get to spend more time with my family on Sunday. So, um, but all right, so I'm gonna head home. And once I get home, I will um, show you guys the cabinet, I'll show you guys what I'm moving around and I'll have to move that stuff around and I'll probably mop right there too. Um, I, just so nervous like I mean I'm sure it's gonna fit I know it's gonna fit I'm not worried about that I just don't know if it's good if I need to move the rug back a little bit I don't we'll figure it out once I get home all right so once I get home we'll figure that all out I'll see you guys I'll see you guys there alrighty so I am home and I just kind of straightened up the kitchen a little bit. There were some dishes in the dish in the sink that I wanted to get in the dishwasher, some from Brian from today. Um, but this is where that new like cabinet thing is going. So I have to get all of this stuff moved out of the way, off this shelf and out of the way. Um, I don't know so much if I'm gonna take everything off that shelf just yet. I think I might just move it out of the way for now and then um, put everything kind of like on that cabinet as I start feeling it out. And then I thought that the rug was gonna be in the way and it's not going to, it's gonna just be perfect. So um, yeah, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the stuff off the top, like my big mirror, take all this stuff off. And then I think I'm just gonna move the shelving unit just maybe over there or just kind of like over here just to get it out of the way. So that is what I'm going to work on now. And Brian just left for his chiropractor appointment. Remember yesterday we went chiropractor and we just went for like our evaluation first. And then they made an appointment for him to go at 4.30 today. And then mine is tomorrow at 8.30. And then I think I'm going to be meeting Courtney tomorrow. And um, yeah, so we're going to hang out tomorrow too. Um, Parker is actually going to be with my sister for the weekend. Uh, my sister has tomorrow off because of it being Good Friday. So she's just going to take Parker for tonight, tomorrow, and Saturday. And then um, we'll all be together on Sunday. So um, yeah, I'm going to get this stuff started. I'm going to go clean this stuff up, move that little ladder, move my blankets, all that good stuff, and get that stuff out of the way and ready for those people to show up. cleaned up it's just drying now so I kind of just moved everything over here on the table and that's where it'll stay until I put everything back and then this is gonna go upstairs eventually it may go up tonight 
It may go up this weekend, don't know yet, but for now it's just gonna stay right there until I figure out what we're gonna do with it. So that back there is nice and clean, which it wasn't too horribly bad, um, but yeah, now it's nice and clean for the new piece to come in. And I'm gonna kind of like reconfigure all of this stuff, um, but obviously I have to find the proper paint. Ooh, which is funny. Let me see if I can go find that paint and I'm gonna show you guys the paint colors. Alrighty, so I have showed you guys these colors before a couple weeks ago when we went to go pick them up. Um, <laughs> which one goes to which wall? Because <laughs> um, right now this is like lighting from the lights in the living room. And which one matches this one? So would this one right here be this color on the wall? And then this one's a darker color, so I don't know where this one comes from. So this one would be silver point. So if that's the case, then see, I can get a small thing of silver point, like a pint, and then fill in all the little holes and stuff that I need to fill in over there, which will be fine. And then where would front porch be? Front porch has got to be like our bedroom or something. I'm not exactly sure, but we'll figure it out. But yeah, so those are the those are the colors of our walls in the house, just in case anybody was wondering so i mean is that what you guys see do you guys see the same thing that i see like which ones like there that's as close as it's going to be able to get so you guys can focus so do you think silver point is on these walls or front porch is on these walls it again it is just so hard to tell because they're just so close in color that you just don't know this one is a little bit darker um so i'm thinking yeah anyway let me know what you guys think let me know. Leave a comment down below. Alrighty guys, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here so I can actually start working on it and getting it edited for tomorrow. And yeah, you guys will just have to come back and see what it looks like once it's been delivered and it's in its spot. So yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. I'm not that steady